Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, specifically the Ashes of the Empire campaign planet, but we'll get to that in a little second. So, I was recently reminded of a little trick uh, that the From the Depths community has known about in general for a very long time, but I've never really talked about it, and it's to do with beam slopes and how wonderful they are, and the advantages of them. So. What am I mean by bean slopes? So, firstly, uh, I would like to introduce you to these basically identical looking tanks, but there's crucial differences between them, which we'll discuss in a moment. Firstly, we want to talk about the beam slopes. So, beam slopes are these things right here. Pretty much every structural block has them. It is four meters long, just cut in half. So, they have pretty much exactly half the health of the regular beam. Uh, of these various materials, and they also have half the weight and, crucially, half the volume. So, the whole impetus behind this video is that there are occasional volume limits in From the Depths. Uh, so, in Ashes of the Empire and Glau in particular, uh, there are volume limits on the craft you can build, which means that you can only build stuff below a certain size. Which is kind of a pain in the ass, but um, this is a way around it. On which tank am I? This tank right here, which is our HA, uh, heavy armor beam tank, it has a cost of uh, all, just shy of 10,000 materials, it has 113 blocks, and has a volume of 253 meters cubed. So this actually is well within the Ashes volume limit, so like. Um, this isn't really proving the point extremely well, but bear with me. Um, this one, which is basically exactly the same vehicle, all the guts of it are exactly the same, uh, is noticeably cheaper. It is about 1,500 materials cheaper, but the volume is almost half of that. 197 uh, meters cubed. Let me show you those numbers again. 253. Well, okay, it's not half. It's like reduced by about a fifth. Um, but that's mostly because this, the, these things are quite small, and a lot of the volume is actually the essential bits. Uh, 197 meters cubed. So, why is that? Uh, this is made with beams. So, all the beams here, we've got some 3 meter beams up here, we've got some 4 meter beams for the rest of it. And, um, oh, here's a 3 meter beam in front. And this one just has replaced all the, uh, the beams uh, with beam slopes. So, that means it's got a whole bunch of blocks which are half the volume, half the weight, and half the cost. So, I believe weight is something that's... Yeah, so the weight on this fella is 37,845. This is noticeably lighter. So, these are the pros of using beam slopes uh, occasionally, is that uh, it allows you to save volume, weight, and cost all at the same time. And allows you to have craft of basically the same size, but they are, well, they're lighter, they're cheaper, and they are lower volume. Uh, which means that you can have a larger craft for less materials and weight, and sticking within a volume limit, and it means that that uh, freed up volume can be used for other things. In particular, more and bigger guns. And uh, this is not the best example, because it's just got this one simple case made of a gun on uh, this, because I made these things in a hurry. So that's basically the advantages of it. It's just, you know, save weight, save cost, lower volume. There are cons to this, however. Like, you don't actually want to use this all the time if you can help it. And uh, I would like to uh, re it again, I did not come up with this. Uh, people have been using this kind of thing uh, for dodging the volume limit uh, in Ashes, and also used in tournaments to make very large craft uh, for a very long time. I remember seeing this in the, like, Menti's Battleship Brawl tournaments, you've seen the occasional thing like that ages ago. So people are aware of this, but if you weren't aware of this, now you are. Now, the cons of this. Um, beam slopes are kind of hard to armor stack, so if I hop over here, and firstly, actually, if I turn the UI on, if we have beams, you will note that the AC of this, of these stacked beams is around 72, so you can see the numbers down there. Uh, one heavy armor beam is 60, two of them is 72, adds plus 12 armor. 
If you use beam slopes, um, oh, and I should mention as well that uh, this uh, this still works. So if you have multiple layers of material, first one gets destroyed, you still have armor stacking all the way through that. I was reminded of that in uh, an armor tutorial I did some time ago, and it was very embarrassing that I didn't realize that. But anyway, uh, beam slopes, if you go crazy on them, uh, you don't really have that. So... If you stack beam slopes like this, th that is an actual air gap in there, so there's no armor stacking at all. Uh, which means the same thickness, even though it is half the cost, half the weight. Um, you don't get that armor stacking bonus unless you do funky things uh, like this. And you'll notice the armor stacking bonus directly dead on is it only about half of it. So you're not getting as much um, damage resistance if you go completely nuts on the beams. Which is why, generally, you don't need more than one uh, beam-based air gap. Uh, see my other armor tutorials about that. And, yeah, so... And it gets a little funky uh, for that. And there's another problem with um, stacking beams like this. Is like, alright, so say you've got a... Oh, I don't know, something like a high-power railgun shell. And it's coming at this beam. Alright, so slopes... Um, are very handy for deflecting kinetic uh, weaponry because uh, there is a damage reduction uh, buff, so to speak, from a shell hitting a sloped surface. So it works on beam, so if a shell comes in at an angle on this tank and hits not dead on, uh, the de kinetic damage inflicted will be reduced by a certain amount, and the steeper the angle, the greater the reduction. And so, slopes are handy because if something comes dead on here, this is a 45 degree angle, it'll be reduced by quite a noticeable amount. Problem is, if you try being cute with your uh, volume saving uh, beam slopes here, when this is destroyed, this is now a flat surface facing the uh, enemy shells uh, head on. It doesn't have that uh, slope reduction, which means that in a weird way, uh, and well, it's not even that weird, it's just it's how the math in the game works. Uh, like, if you try and get cute with stacking beam slopes like this, um, kinetic shells actually have an easier time getting through rather than a harder one. So, in my little experiments, um, like, there's either, re like, really no difference to trying to make armor stacking work in these, uh, or there's, like, it actually makes things worse. You're better off just angling them outwards so you get that nice kinetic resistance bearing in mind that is for like kinetic weapons only like high explosives don't care about angle and hash and hollow point and stuff like that uh, but for those things like except for high explosive armor stacking doesn't really matter and speaking of armor uh, most materials don't really have sufficient health um, to justify using the beam slope so a metal beam which is the bread and butter of armor generally in From the Depths, is about 1680 health, so 1680. Half of that is starting to get into the territory, even with metal, that is like, eh, this isn't much, like anything reasonably powerful will strip this off in short order. So yeah, so when I say volume saving, it's uh, not more efficient health per volume. That is a very important distinction. It allows you to basically extend your vehicle outwards and save weight and volume. But in terms of actual protection uh, per meter cubed, beams are still generally better. And uh, if you go, for instance, like wood spam, by the way, is a general way of getting cheap hit points, but with a split second you use beam slopes, um, this really only has like. I don't know, so what's 180 times 4 is a number. A wooden beam so has barely more health than 4 just standard wooden blocks. So generally, if you're going to do the uh, volume saving beam slope trick, and also bearing in mind, like this is featuring ashes a lot, where you don't have to worry about stuff sinking, uh, you're going to be using heavy armor beam slopes because it still has 3000 health and 60 armor. So these things are still pretty durable. And in fact, um, a lot of the time, uh, for internals in Citadel armor, like, you might not need something that has 6,000 health, depending on what's shooting at you. Uh, yeah, so, you do have to still bear in mind that this is a very handy trick for 
saving cost, saving volume, and all that stuff. But your craft will still be more fragile um, than something that is made uh, out of proper beams. So it is a trade-off, which is why this is kind of a cheese tactic for circumventing volume restrictions, but also not really, because there is a price to pay. And of course we have to bully, uh, let's see, where are you? We have to bully a King Cobra. We just have to. And we do need to move. <laughs> wow, we moved just in time. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, both these tanks, by the way, um, have pretty much the same kind of um, combat performance. Let's see, you are fishing around. Because the beam slope tank is slightly lighter, it maneuvers a little bit better, which is convenient. I should show you the internals. It's that. It's not amazing. So yeah, beam soaps, am I going to be using them a lot more? Yes, because beam soaps are actually really good. And I can't believe we're actually winning right now. That's actually kind of impressive, because these tanks are extremely cheap. You are going to need to drive like hell, lest you get blown up. I might have accidentally made slightly decent tanks uh, with this. Also spaced armor, very nice. So this is just a quick, uh, I guess, if you didn't know, now you know... And a reminder that beam slopes are handy for all kinds of things. Spaced armor, uh, cheekily saving on uh, volume and weight and cost, uh, whenever you that is a dire thing to do. This is kind of... I don't know whether this tank looks good or not. I suspect it doesn't. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. Do check out my non From the Depths related stuff. It's quite fun. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.